Hello, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome back. Today, we are gonna get to know each other a little bit better. Let's start off with the basics. So, my name is Gabrielle, as many of you know. I am 23 years old, I think, because it's 2024. I was born in 2001, so I'm 23 years old. I am Canadian, but I am currently living in Australia. I'm here traveling with my boyfriend. We just bought a van and are slowly kind of trying to build it out. But mainly our focus right now is working to be able to extend our visa, but also to make money so that we can travel once we're done here. Back home, I'm technically kind of unemployed because I am currently going to school um, to be a teacher. I am in a bachelor of secondary education to like high school. I'm majoring in bio and I am minoring in French. I chose the bio major because I love biology and I actually started out in a bachelor of science, a bachelor of science in kinesiology because I thought I wanted to be a physiotherapist and then realized I think I was just kind of chasing that because the money and because I was kind of a nerd in high school so I had the grades for it. Um, but then I realized in my second semester of doing that that little kid me was right and I actually want to be a teacher just like my mama so I have a year left of that I'm currently taking a pause from that program to be able to travel but yeah that's what I do for a living is I go to school and I guess right now I'm a casually employed employee for another month or so back home I have one sister two dogs, a lovely mother and father, a pretty small family considering we're really only close with my mom's side. So a couple cousins there, which fun fact, I have a cousin that is the exact same age as me. So we were very, very close growing up. And yeah, my mom's parents are still with us. So I still have two living grandparents, but they live far away. So we would try and see them like once a year ish when i was younger you probably all know this already but i am currently in a relationship with my high school sweetheart <laughs> um his name is dustin we made little videos over on another channel i'll put it i don't know where it is up here somewhere if you want to check those out but he's also made a grand appearance on this channel in a couple of videos so he's a darling and we have been together for oh gosh i think in october it'll be seven years 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, I think it's seven years. Another fun fact is this camera is about to die, so I'm going to go change the battery. Okay, I think that's going to be good. So I really like personality types and like personal growth and self-discovery and whatever. And one fun fact, I guess, is I always rope the people in my life into doing all of these tests so that I can also kind of learn about them. I also always record these videos right before I go to work, so I always have alarms going off. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to share with you the personality types that I am. So I am an Enneagram, Enneagram type seven. I just have to find it. Um, ESTJ, which is extroversion, sensing, thinking, and judging. But I did that personality test when I was like 17 and I've changed a lot since then so I'd be interested to redo the Myers-Briggs. I think in that colors test I was green but I might have been between two. The more I'm going through these the more I'm realizing that I just told you all that I'm literally obsessed with these tests and I don't even know my own result. I guess I'm more interested in just like learning little tidbits about myself and less interested in like the little titles but anyways let's move along. I get a lot of questions about like the media that I consume or like things that I like. So in terms of music, I'm really into like classic rock, I guess. I listen to a lot of music from the 70s, but when it comes to like newer music, I'm definitely into like indie alternative, but also folk music. On Spotify, my genre mixes are indie, folk and acoustic, soul, rock. But yeah, I can link my Spotify down below if any of you are interested in seeing what I listen to. I also get asked about like my favorite YouTube channels, which I honestly haven't been watching that much YouTube lately. I have been a viewer of Eamon and Beck for a very long time. I've also kind of been on and off with like Hannah Lee Duggan, Duggan, but I don't like religiously watch her videos just every so often when they pop up. I think she's a pretty cool human. I've watched a lot of like Heinz, Hindsight, Heinz videos. Cause again, I just, I like the vibes and I love tea. When I was younger, I really got into like Hitomi, 
Hitomi's videos as well, just because they're also like very, very calming and very soothing. Um, as you can see, this video is very on the fly because I keep on having to like look up my answers. I should see who I'm subscribed to. Justin and Juby, the ones that like lived in the bus before, but now it's just her. I've watched them. I'm also subscribed to like a couple of zero waste influencers because I really went into that a couple of years ago. So like Shelby, I don't know her last name. I also really like this lady. Um, living to DIY with Rachel. What's her name? Rachel Metz. I think she's pretty cool. <laughs> the Sorry Girls. That's like DIY home decor stuff. Used to watch a lot of like Sedona Christina's video. Also, um, when I was going through like my zero waste phase. But I also really like watching those um like truth or drink videos. I really like the nectar channel you know when they like sit down and pull those cards and like get into like these deep intimate questions and also um the and i just really like watching people connect and have like really good deep conversations with each other so whenever those come up on my feed i am a sucker for them and i can't not watch them now for the podcast i listen to i've been a long time listener of um the mind love podcast i haven't listened to it in a little while though Recently, I've been finding some interesting podcasts in uh, the Diary of a CEO podcast. I'm into like self-help or like scientific-y podcasts or also psychology, so I don't really listen to like fun podcasts. Um, Ultimate Health is another podcast that I listen to a decent amount. At one point, I like binged the Lavender Lifestyle podcast with Eileen Yu, I think is how you pronounce her name. I think she's really neat, so... I quite liked her podcast. But yeah, I also just listen to a lot of podcasts, like random podcasts, because I look up podcast topics. So yeah, that's what I listen to. When it comes to movies and TV shows, I really don't watch TV or movies like at all. But I am a bit of a sucker for like really bad reality TV when it comes to like the... <laughs> the stupid Netflix ones, like the dating shows. And I know it's time that I will literally never get back, but I find it entertaining. So I've also gotten questions about like what my phone looks like. And it's actually as boring as it can get because I have that like minimalist phone app, which makes it so that none of the apps on my phone actually show up as apps. They just show up as their names. So this is like my home screen. And then when you swipe... This is what it looks like and you have to scroll through the names of the apps or search up the app. So I can't really do much of an interesting phone tour because I've tried to make my phone as boring as possible. Another weird thing I do with my phone is at night I have this setting that makes my phone red <laughs> for like blue light and stuff. <sighs> Anyhow, moving along because I still have to eat breakfast and I'm running out of time. Some little dreams of mine, just general dreams. Since I was little, I always dreamed of owning a van and building a van and then traveling in that van, um, which is kind of something I'm doing right now in Australia. I also have this dream of one day having like this little house and I don't know where it's going to be, but I see it surrounded by big trees. It's going to be cute and quaint and have flowers everywhere and have a really nice like backyard with little lights and it's just going to be so cozy and then I'm going to invite my friends over and we're going to have little dates and picnics and suppers. And yeah, it's going to be a, vi a vibey, cozy little house. Another dream that's obviously cliche is to find a job that lets me live out my passion and purpose. Whether that be like the job is my passion and purpose or the job allows me to have time and like resources to be able to explore my passion and purpose like outside of work. And you never know, maybe one day YouTube will be part of that. Right now, I don't really make much money off of YouTube. I just kind of, oh, there's my second alarm. Um, I just kind of do it because I think it's fun. Another dream is obviously like travel and see the world and experience things. And really, I just want to see like really pretty landscapes and scenery. And I've obviously kind of started doing that. So now we're going to go and do a speed run of um, some frequently asked questions that I get from all of you. And also, I want to let you know that if I've missed any questions, um, just leave them in the comments here. And I could always do another little Q&A video because I feel like it's fun to like actually get to know the people you're watching. And also, I want to get to know you. So shoot me any questions in the comments. But one of the first questions I get asked frequently are, where are my glasses from? Um, they're from Garrett Light. 
I think is the brand and they are the Royce frames. I also used to get a lot of questions about like what plants I had in my apartment. Um, they were mainly all pothos. I had a couple of snake plants, a couple of monsteras, a um, couple of heart leafed or heart shaped philodendrons. I had a fiddly fig, a couple of rubber plants. But yeah, my favorite plants are definitely pothos, snake plants, and monsteras because they're just so easy to take care of and I can be kind of a neglectful plant mom. <laughs> I also get asked quite a lot like what camera I use to film. I have the Sony ZV-1, which I bought two-ish years ago when I decided to start kind of actually making videos. And then just recently before this trip, I think, I bought these little microphones. They're the DJI mics. Now, a couple of questions that you all asked me on my first video back after my little hiatus. When it comes to my journals, I haven't really been using them as much as I thought I would. I write like the odd note in this one and then this one's just gotten a couple of pictures but yeah I haven't really been putting a whole lot of time or energy into those I got asked if I still have the bus and if you mean the van yes we do still have it and we're working on building it out and Oh my gosh, so many of these questions I'm going to need like so much time to get into, which I don't think I have the time for today. But what ways have I felt like I've changed and grown since leaving? I feel like I'm a lot more like centered in myself since leaving. I also feel like I'm just a lot happier to, I guess, exist without having to like show other people who I am. Like they can just decide for themselves and like see for themselves who I am. I don't have to put extra effort into showing people the kind of person I am because they'll just like they'll pick it up by being around me if you know what I mean I'm just I'm just existing for myself I think what I miss about my previous life in Canada is that I just had so much free time to like delve into my own matters into my own head into my own projects and right now I'm really busy with working and getting to know people that sometimes it's hard to like take time for myself and get into those things that I love doing but something I really love about this current lifestyle in Australia is obviously I get to meet people and it's just it's just so different and it's a very different way of life and I'm very thankful to be experiencing it how do Dustin and I complement each, each other's strengths and weaknesses I feel like I would have to ask him also about this question but we are learning a lot of ways that we're different but also a lot of ways that we're similar favorite products I'm using currently um I don't really know if many of the products I'm using currently are like absolutely great. I feel like they all just kind of like they do their job. <laughs> but I am still obsessed with my Nag Champa oil and my Power to the Flower oil. So those are probably like the favorite products that I use because those are actually like extra little scenty things and not just like basic products like shampoo or deodorant. Favorite albums and artists. I feel like there are too many right now. Maybe I'll have to put some up on the screen because I literally have four minutes before I need to leave for work. <laughs> this is starting to get rushed, um, but I could put some up on the screen or maybe um, if you check out my Spotify, I have a bunch of mixes on there. I got asked if I'm still thrifting. Definitely not really thrifting right now because it just doesn't make sense for me to buy things and have to carry them around. And also the thrift stores that I've been to in Australia are just not the same as back home. I think because there's a lot more like curated vintage in Australia and less just like massive thrift stores. So A, everything is more expensive and B, it seems a little less like a treasure hunt because someone's already like gone and curated things for you. So yeah, I've kind of let that passion slide until I get back, I think. This one's interesting. The best granola girl products that have stood up for my travels. Love the Osprey. Um, love my boots, my red back boots. Those are great. But those are probably like my most used items are my boots and my backpack. And they've definitely impressed me. What's my time? Oh gosh. Last question though is do I still make kombucha and skewer? And the answer is no because I don't want to stink up the staff house with kombucha and you can't really make it in like a moving vehicle because the scoby has to settle on top so i'm not doing that i'm just buying yogurt and i'm not really drinking kombucha it's actually hard to find skier in australia which i thought was kind of strange i literally work in five minutes but i feel like i did a lot of talking about me so i have left a fun little game for you in the description that you're gonna have to go find basically i just wrote out a little set of prompts that i would love for you all to go and copy 
paste it in the comments, fill it out, and then send it to me so that I can get to know you a little bit more as well. But I will leave you with that. I look forward to reading your little answers. As always, I hope this video finds you well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.